Today, I'm going to be giving you guys an exclusive look at the green J Balvin Friends and Family Air Jordan 2. There have only been a couple pictures that have been leaked on the internet, and I was able to get my hands on a pair for a review for you guys. And I'm excited to give you guys the in depth looks at this sneaker because this is definitely a very clean shoe. So, now before we get started with breaking down the two shoes, we got to start with the boxes first on the presentation on that. And everything essentially on here is going to be identical when it comes to the boxes, the white paper, and the cloud paper with the Jumpman logo and all the branding on that aspect. So there's not too much to really cover on that end. But now when it comes to the shoes, obviously you can see there's a very big difference when it comes to the coloring. So let's start with the bottom of the sneaker and work our way up. And we'll talk about the lights and all the other aspects along with the shoe. For those that have never seen this shoe before when it comes to the blue pair, and then obviously the differences between the two when the blue and the green. Starting with the outsoles, you have your classic Air Jordan 2 bottom with the translucent vibes with the green on one foot, the blue on the other. And then you have the white Nike branding in the center of the back end of the foot. Both of these outsoles do glow in the dark as well. Well, and I know that's a very dope touch that a lot of people like to see when it comes to sneakers and having little add-ons like that with the glow in the darks or something like the light on the tongue. Different things like that are always cool when it comes to keychains, laces, you name it. And I'm sure a lot of sneaker heads agree with me when it comes to that topic. Now looking at the midsole right here, you got the same thing, all white on both of the shoes. And then onto the upper, right here now you're gonna have the black plastic on the back end and this is gonna be in the green with the clouds. And then you got the same smiley face with the lightning bolt eyes right here on the back end of the left foot. And then on the back end of the right foot is going to be the same thing as well on both of these with the lightning bolts. And that's going to be similar to what you've seen on the J Balvin ones or similar to what you've seen on the top of the boxes right here. So everything is essentially identical, but just going to kind of be flipped in that green color. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey! So like in the in-depth review, like I showed you guys before, you got the plastics, you got your rip stops and you got your new bucks on the top end of the shoe. And those are all going to be the same right here on the green friends and family pair as well. These come equipped with the standard pair of white laces just like the other pair and these also have an additional pair of blue and green laces another cool detail on this sneaker that you don't really notice until you get close up on it these have a rainbow stitch all throughout the upper on the green pair and the same thing is going to be right here on the blue pair as well so everything like i said earlier is pretty much identical when it comes to that besides the fact that they're going to be sample tagged up and have a completely different colorway but if you blight both of these shoes up right here on the tongues you can see there we go that both of these are lit in green as well so obviously the green shoe with the green glow makes it look even cooler because it all kind of blends in i don't know i think it's pretty dope but i like it on the blue as well i think they all look good honestly let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section when it comes to that on the back end of the tongue on the green pair is going to be the same as the blue pair you got the lightning bolt with the little charging symbol and then you got the green satin with the clouds on the back end of the tongue and the sock liner and then the insoles are going to be the same on both feet right here with the air jordan in that chicken scratch like we saw on the side of the box so honestly when it comes to these two shoes they are very 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 similar it just comes down to preference now like which one do you like more do you like the green or do you like the blue let me know down below in the comment section i think if i could pick one which one would i go with ah i feel like i would go with the green pair not because it's rare and exclusive and all that stuff but i think because we don't see as much green as often. And you know me, I'm a go ducks type of guy. So it's that, you know, just aligns perfectly. But we've seen a lot of blues and you know what I'm saying? We've seen those type of colors on Jordans before in the past and not as many green models and colors and all the different things. So for me, I think I would go for it that specific reason. But I'm interested to see how you guys feel about it. So let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about these two shoes. So I hope this was a good, quick, in-depth review of these two sneakers. There's not too much to talk about besides the coloring. Everything is pretty much identical when it comes to all the other aspects of the shoes. Typically on PEs and stuff or friends and families or whatever, they always have maybe a switch up of materials and the colors are obviously switched up and different things like that or other add-on features. But this shoe is already so customized out and has so many cool details on it that could easily be a friends and family version for the blue pair now i can see why it's like kind of hard to add more aspects to the shoe they've done stuff to the tongue the back of the tongue the sock liner the upper mixture of materials the laces you name it glow in the dark the box everything is already special about the shoe so i hope you guys enjoyed this i love both of these versions let me know what you think down below in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe we're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there
Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.